Praise the Lord. Today I would like to welcome each and every one of you in uh, today's virtual worship service. I hope everyone is doing well by the grace of God. Today I would like to speak from the topic called Laymen and Pharisees. Laymen and Pharisees, which is taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 9, verse 32 to 34. Matthew chapter 9, verse 32 to 34. As they were going away, look, you, they brought to him a dumb man who was demon possessed. And when the demon had been expelled from him, he spoke. And the crowds were amazed. Nothing like this, they said, was ever seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, he cast out the demons by the power of the prince of the demons. This is the word of God. We, we can find only few passages in uh, the Bible where it shows that we uh, people uh, are against Jesus Christ. We can just find that is in few portion of the Bible, not in the whole Bible. Here, let us look at uh, the picture of two reactions to him against Jesus. There was two reactions against Jesus, which we can find through this passage. Number one, the attitude of the crowds was amazed, wonder. They were wonder, the crowds, they were amazed. Secondly, the attitude of the Pharisees was virulent hatred. They, Pharisees, they had him extremely. So let us look at these uh, two reactions. It must always remain true that what the eye sees depends upon what the heart feels. We, whatever we see, we believe that. Whatever we see, that we keep it in our heart. So let, let us look at that. Firstly, the crowd looked on Jesus with wonder. The crowd looked on Jesus with wonder because they were simple people with a crying sense of need and they saw that in Jesus their need could be supplied. The people, laymen, simple people, they saw that, they knew that their needs would be fulfilled through Jesus Christ. That is what they had in their heart that he is the only one who can deliver them. Secondly, the Pharisees saw Jesus as one who was with all the powers of evil. They did not deny his wondrous powers, but they attributed them to his complicity with the prince of the devils. Pharisees, they never denied, they never denied the wondrous power that Jesus had but they attributed them into the prince of the devils. They said that he has a power of evil, the, the power that comes out from evil, the power that comes out from devil. Why does Pharisees, let us see, why does Pharisees have that attribute in their mind? When we see that uh, from the lemon view, that was a miracle that Jesus did. It was a miracle that Jesus did, but Pharisees, they, they took it in different way in their mind. Firstly, they, they were too set in their ways. They were too set in their ways. Laws, tradition, according to the Pharisees laws and tradition according to the Pharisees. Pharisees think that there should be not one word added or subtracted from the law. They think that they, they, there should be not one law added or subtracted. There, there should not be one word sub added or subtracted from their law. That is what they, they took it in that way. To, to them, all the great things belong to the past. They, they, they took it at that whatever was happening that, that was in the past. 
to them, to change the tradition was a deadly sin. They think that this is a law, this is a tradition, and it should not be changed. Which we know that Jesus, when Jesus came, we became a new person in Christ. We were forgiven. We have become a new person in Christ. And then those miracles, those power that God has blessed us, that was a new thing. When Pharisees look at that, anything that is new is wrong, which Jesus did as a new interpretation. As I said, Jesus did a new thing, new wondrous thing, which was against the law of Pharisees. Secondly, they were too proud in their self-righteousness to submit. They think that they are too righteous. The Pharisees were so well satisfied with themselves that they saw no need to change and they hated anyone who wished to change them. They thought themselves that they are so righteous and they are in right place and they are totally right. They are not sinners. They, they, they do right. They think right. They say right. That is why they don't like people to change and that, whatever they think. As we know that repentance is the only gateway whereby we all must enter the kingdom. And repentance means the recognition of the error of our ways. Pharisees, they took themselves as a righteous man, righteous person. They, they think that they never sin at all. In their, through their acts, through their deeds and through their words, they think that they are not a sinner. They don't need to repent. But what did Jesus say? To become a new person in Christ, we have to repent. Repentance means to make correction ourselves with those errors that we have. The past sins that we have been doing, if we have changed ourselves, then we have to leave all those sins. We have to correct that errors that we have. We have to correct that thing. We have to correct ourselves, the sins that we have. We have to leave that away. And that is that itself is the true repentance as a believer of Christ. To the realization that in Christ alone there is life and the surrender to Him and to His will and power. Pharisees never saw that like that. They never took Jesus as a life. They never took Jesus as the only one way to heaven. They never took Jesus. They never surrendered their life to Jesus. They thought that their law is the right, right law. And they are the righteous one. They are the one who make the laws. They denied the will and the power of Christ. They denied the will and the power of Christ. Thirdly, they were too prejudiced to see. They were too judgmental. They were too judgmental, as I said. They think that they are right. And they were, they keep on accusing Jesus. They keep on accusing Jesus that he is an evil person. He has a power of devil. Their eyes were so blinded by their own ideas that they could not see in Jesus Christ the truth and the power of God. They, they could not see Jesus. They could not see the truth in Jesus Christ. They could not see the truth in Jesus Christ and the power of God. They could not realize that the God has sent His only Son for us. He has all the power he has all the power and he is the truth because their eyes were blind with their own ideas today see 
how we the believers we live our life we bring our own ideas before before others we bring our own thoughts before others and we think that we are right enough we think that we are living our life in rightful way we think that we are right than others and we become judgmental and we never accept others opinion we never accept what is the truth if it is from the bible then we should accept it but if it is from the outside then of course we will deny it but we never we never ever accept others view others ideas if it is even if it is from the word of god and we think that we are right always they did not see Pharisees they did not see their needs they thought that they are right they don't need anyone there is no one who can correct them they thought that no one has a right to correct them that is the reason why they uh, don't they, that was not the need of our for them they don't need Jesus they don't see repentance in their life so what do we, what do this passage try to tell us what do this passage try to teach us christians should not make their own law apart from what jesus tells us to do what did jesus told us to do how did jesus taught us to live our life we should not make our own law we should not make create our own ideas we should not make our own rules and regulation apart from the word of god apart from what Jesus said and how Jesus lived we should never think that we are righteous that we can't submit ourselves my dear brothers and sisters in Christ we cannot say that we are righteous we cannot say that we don't have sin we are not a sinner when we say that we are a righteous person we become false we give a false witness instead of that we should pray to god for forgiveness say, saying that lord i am the worst among the sinners that is what should be our prayer and lord please forgive me that is what should be our prayer as a believer of christ we should never be judgmental we should become hatred for others let us try to listen to others let us try it doesn't say that whatever people says you have to accept it if it is from the word of god if it is according to the word of god if it is right thing then definitely we have to accept that we should not think ourselves that we are right enough and people are wrong we cannot judge judge them when we have so many grudges in our heart when we have so many hatred in our heart how can we judge someone how can we judge mental to someone when how can we say people that you you are you are wrong you are a sinner you have hatred in your heart you are you have lots of grudges in your heart when we point finger to someone this three finger itself is pointing us let us try to judgment to ourselves let us judge ourselves correct ourselves and that will help us to make our way to heaven Thank you so much. I would like to end up from here. I believe that everyone is blessed through this word of God. May God bless us all with this short sharing. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen.